Welcome to Old Guy Tech. The OGT.TV recording studio. Technology for the rest of us. 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 Hi, Rob Charney, Old Guy Tech TV. I'm here today with William Carmichael. How are you doing, William? I'm doing great. Oh, good. Good to see you from last year. Yes, sir. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about what's really new and what's going on with uh, Glock. And I know you've got some examples for us to show us. So t tell me what you got. Well, this is the Glock 21 Gen 4. It continues uh, Glock's effort to Gen 4 our entire lineup. So the gun incorporates the double recoil spring system, the RTF finish. Right, that's a whole new grip finish. Exactly. It right. gives you a little more traction, you know, to right. ensure your grip. Right. Um, it has interchangeable back straps that you can add on to it to increase the size if right. desired. Right. Uh, right. It's got more surface space on the mag catch. Larger magazine. Right. And reversible on the mag catch. Excellent. So if you're a Excellent lefty, game. you can switch that around. Perfect. Um, this one here, of course, is 45 ACP. Right. And we're also introducing the Model 32 in 357 Auto. Right. And the Model 34 in 9mm. Perfect. Perfect. Now, uh, uh, and in those guns in compact sizes? Uh, the 34 is a competition gun. It's, okay. uh, it's like the 17, but it's right. got a longer slide and barrel. Okay. And Great. then the Model 32 is a uh, Glock 19, Glock 23 size weapon gotcha. chamber for the 357 Auto. Okay. Perfect. How many rounds would that gun carry? That one holds 13 rounds. Uh, as does this 45 I'm holding. Okay. The model 34 holds 15, 15, or excuse me, 17 or 19 with an extended magazine. Good, good. Uh, uh, before we get into the technology, burning question. What about California? What are we doing for California? Well, uh, California uh, does not authorize the sale of the Gen 4 weapon, uh, and that's just you know their stance out there right now. Just right now, no Gen 4s? Right now, no Gen 4s. And as far as you know, uh, they've been submitted for testing? As far as I know. That's... Yeah. Uh, once again, unfortunately, not my field. Right. Not gone it, it's too bad. Cause we, <laughs> we, we really want it. But I, I have a 23 that you know about right. that I, I love, and uh, I'll keep carrying it until you guys get your right. fourth gens out and, there. And, of course, law enforcement can get the 21 Gen 4 or any other Gen 4 weapon. It's only the right. civilian purchasers that are excluded right. out there. Well, let me tell you a little something that's happening with law enforcement in California. They may have purchased it, even as an individual with a letter, uh, but once they retire, they have a problem. That gun's not allowed to continue with them. Oh, I see. So a lot of these law enforcement officers have bought these guns thinking that they were going to be able to have them over the civilians. they got a real problem at the end. It's the same thing with assault weapons, but that's another story for another day. So anyway, what I'm looking at is a little bit of the technology behind the technology. Why don't we talk a little bit about how this gun is actually manufactured. How do, how do we make this gun and how does it how does it work and, and where is it made? It's all made in Austria, right? Right. Uh, we do manufacture weapons in the United States. Unfortunately, uh, they are export weapons. Oh, okay. So they're not for sale domestically here. Uh, the guns we do sell here are made in Austria. Right. Um, and it, the frame is a polymer injection molded frame. And then the slide and barrels are both milled and from, uh, well, the barrels hammer forged. Hammer forged, the right. Slide is milled from solid bar stock. Bar stock, okay. And uh, and so, well, let's talk about the polymer. Now, you say it's an injection molding system? Right. Okay. How much work does it take after, once it's injected and built, how much how much labor is involved with that, you know? It's the frame's pretty much made in the mold. Uh, when it comes so out, there's very limited uh, things to do. I mean, obviously, the serial number has to be, you know, applied to the gun. Right. And the parts have to be put in it, but there's not right. much to it after that. Pretty, pretty just straightforward after that. That's pretty good. Has, uh, ha has there been any experience with frame failures of any type? Do aware of? No, the, uh, the frame has uh, great longevity. Uh -huh. uh, you know, the, the polymer is not very susceptible to heat and cold, and, uh, you know, they can carry on for many, many years. Uh, I have a Glock 17 that was made back in uh, 1989, yeah, and it's yeah. still trucking right along. Yeah, you sound like me with my Model 23. I've had it too, and I, I carry it almost every day, so it's a great gun. It's worked out really well. Anything else that actually stands out to you as on, on the newest? Would we have, well, now we obviously have on this particular model, we have a uh, frame uh, rails on there so we can put right. lasers, lights, whatever it may be. Yeah, uh, accessory attachment rails came along, uh, I'd say about uh, 10 years ago. Right. And, you know, they, they're kind of here to stay. There's all kind of options for lights, lasers, or combos to put on the end of your gun. And, right. uh, you know, by many manufacturers, including Glock. Okay. So what which, which kind of, what is Glock producing? Lasers, lights, both, all? We have a, we have a laser light combo uh -huh. and we have just a light. Okay. So okay. either one of those options. Are you also still making uh, holsters for all of your 
guns. We do. We make polymer holsters for the weapons. Right, right. Including for a laser or for a light? Uh, right now we do not offer a holster that accommodates the gun with the light already attached. Okay, all right. Maybe sometime down the road. Sure. Yeah, you never know. You never know with that. So, okay, 45 ACP. Now, you also brought out... Let me see if I can get this right. Model 32 in 357 SIG. Correct. Is that right? In a compact. In a compact. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I shot that uh, Monday at the media Probably uh, event. Probably so. That. Great little gun, a little snappy. Mm -hmm. It is. Great, great, great round. Uh, how's the popularity going on that? Uh, it's It's got its following. Um, it's the same size and capacity as its brother, the 23 and 40 caliber. Uh, as you probably know, the 357 is a 40 caliber case that's been necked down to accommodate a bullet uh, 9 millimeter. Right. So you're right. running a 125 grain bullet you yep. know, out of the gun at uh, approximately 1,250 plus feet per second. Pretty snappy. Yes, Pretty it snappy. Is. Works out really good. So, Well, you know, I, I really appreciate you taking this time with us. Um, this is the second year in a row with William, and maybe we'll have three and four and five more years to go yet. So, uh, again, thanks a lot. I really appreciate your time no talking Good about you. the technology. Maybe next year we can get into it even more. So, uh, hey, this is Rob with Old Guy Tech TV, technology for the rest of us. Thank you, William. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Hi, this is Rob Charney with Old Guy Tech TV, and I want to talk to you today about Windfall. Windfall has two outstanding offers for you to take advantage of. They have their 12-week business-only ad for just $60. That's just $5 a week. You're not going to find a better deal anywhere. Windfall has a rewards program like no other. A real windfall. Give us five and your ad is free. So refer five people or businesses and you get your ad for free. Visit Windfall on the web at www.shopthewindfall.com or call 530-621-1698. Everybody needs a windfall. Thank you, windfall. See you soon.